Hey, what's going on everybody? I just want to let you know, just so you guys know how important this is to me, I got up at 4 a.m. to get this video going. I don't know why it took me an hour and a half to get in the office, but anyways, my point is I'm going to be up making these Python videos until we've covered everything or until I get tired, whichever comes first, I guess we'll see probably the, the tired one. So where are we going to be talking about today? Where uh, we're going to be talking about string escape sequences. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Now you might hear these by a few different variation of names. You might hear string escape characters. You might just hear escape strings. But basically, there are certain characters that are a little bit special when we're working with strings. So if we have some message, and it just says something like, hello, this is fine, and it works, it's all great, but there are certain characters you can't really type out when you're trying to make a string literal. So I'll show you my first example of that. First, let's print this message. Running this, we get hello, and what if we want to do a tab? Well, we could put a tab in here, run this and say, hey, and that works. But what about a, a new line? You know, what if we press enter here? Running it now, we're actually getting an error. So how would you put a new line in this string? Well, you actually just put a backslash n. So that is an example of an escape character. It's treated different than the rest. And you can see that it's orange. And you can think of this escape character as being rendered. So it is replaced with whatever that escape character would represent. In this case, it's a new line. And now it works. Hello, hey. And there's other ones as well. So for example, we could do a tab, which obviously we saw that a tab character can be typed out and it works fine. But in this situation, we could put a tab there, which can be used for formatting and so forth. Now another thing we can do with these escape characters is we can actually use hexadecimal to print characters, which you might run into, but if you haven't worked with hexadecimal yet, don't really worry about it too much right now. But just so you guys know, there's this thing called the ASCII table, and it contains all of the characters in this character set that we can use. And for example, there's a hexadecimal value, so let's say we wanted to print in capital A, it would be hexadecimal 41, which is the equivalent to decimal 65. And we can print that using hexadecimal using a backslash x. I already forget the number, what was it? <laughs> it was 41. So we can say 41, run this, and look at that, we get an A. So that is how we can take hexadecimal and render it as a character. And there's other escape characters that you can use. So here are some examples. You can also do octal here and some other special characters from the ASCII table. And there is some stuff on single quotes and double quotes. So just real quick, I'll show you an example of that. If we wanted to like put a actually print a double quote, you would have to put a backslash double quote. Now running this, you can see we get a double quote in the terminal window. So that is your introduction to escape characters. Nothing too crazy, but they are going to come important for various things. You know, maybe if you're trying to quote somebody or do some hexadecimal conversions or whatever it might be, if you need to format your messages using tabs or new lines, this is how you would do it. It's also important if you have a string that has characters that could be considered escape characters and you don't want to render those, then you have to be a, a little bit different. So for example, Let's say we have a string and there is a backslash t and we want to actually print backslash t, then you would just need to prefix with another backslash running this now and we get backslash t. So that is how you basically escape the escape character. Well, that is our first video for the day. Hopefully it wasn't complete garbage. Still waking up a little bit. So I will see you guys on the next video where we're gonna continue talking about Python, thankfully. All right, I will see you then.